Capoeira is a multifaceted Afro-Brazilian cultural practice. It is both fight and dance. It is comprehended as folklore, sport, and even art. The circle, a roda, is where the game takes place. Two dimensions are always present. The ludic side of the celebration, its playfulness, and the other side of resistance and reaction to the oppressive system. The capoeiristas, people who practice capoeira, sing, clap their hands, and play percussion instruments. In the center, two participants at a time challenge each other. The movements require dexterity. They may be supple, vigorous, and even acrobatic. They are very difficult and exhibit incredible physical agility. The beauty and energy of the music and the movements draw in and seduce the participants and the audience. The Roda de Capoeira is a deeply ritualized space, congregating chants and gestures that express a worldview, a hierarchy, and an ethical code, and also reveal companionship and solidarity. The Roda is a metaphor for the immensity of the world. With its joys and adversities, it is in the Roda de Capoeira that great masters, mestres, are formed and acclaimed, and where traditional Afro-Brazilian practices and values are transmitted and reinforced. The Roda is comprised of a group of people that includes the Mestre, the Countermaster, Contra Mestre, and his disciples and students. Both men and women can occupy any of these positions as long as they have gone through the specific rituals. The Mestre is the highest position in the hierarchy of the Roda de Capoeira. He is the maintainer of culture the guardian of all knowledge. All participants in the Roda de Capoeira must know how to play instruments, such as berimbau, pandeiro, agogô, cachixi, atabaque, and repo repo. They must also know how to sing the common repertoire of chants, improvise melodies and songs, learn and respect the rhythms, cosmologies, hierarchies, and ethical codes of conduct, and manufacture the bidding bow and other instruments, as well as perform a vast set of movements, steps, strikes, and counter-strikes. The organization of the Roda in itself is a way of transmitting this knowledge. Through observation and imitation, the disciples learn their skills. My grades are excellent. Mostly got a hundred in Capoeira. I'm going to be a mystery, a big mystery. The Roda de Capoeira creates sociability networks and generates common identities and cooperation between its participants. My nickname is Angulero. I am from Israel. I am a Christian Arab. My name is Ayam. I'm from, uh, I'm living in Haifa. And I am a Arab. My name is Eli. My nickname is Asustado. And I'm good. Quando a gente chega na capoeira, na aula, na oda, não tem diferença. Eu entro e jogo no mar como qualquer um. Não vou conhecer, não vou cantar junto com o árabe em outro lugar. Uma coisa que não vou querer, coisa que não vou achar ele na rua para jogar. E aqui tem essa oportunidade para fazer isso junto. É não mais do judeu e não mais do árabe. Então, quem pratica tem a mesma relação. Você pode usar a capoeira para fechar um, a distância do, da, da cultura. 
The Hoada is an environment where knowledge and practices are socialized, where expertise is learned and applied, where limits and inventions are tested, where the elders are revered, and where new chants and movements are improvised. Metaphorically, it represents the circle of the world, the circle of life, where the unexpected can take place, and where you can sometimes win and sometimes lose. From subversive activity to national symbol, the Roda de Capoeira demonstrates its enormous relevance to the Afro-Brazilian and Afro-descendant cultural heritage. An Arab, a Jew, or an American can repeat the beat of the same song, the art of the same step, and the swing of the same touch. Its official heritage recognition is a demonstration of respect for cultural diversity, which identifies and appreciates in its practice the values and codes of a segment once excluded from dominant society and which still fights for equal treatment. Practiced in over 160 countries on every continent, the Roda de Capoeira is responsible for bringing thousands of international students to Brazil, and foreign capoeiristas frequently decide to learn the Portuguese language in order to improve their skills. <laughs> Não dá para cantar na capoeira francesa, não. Vende aí arroz de maranhão. Porque vem dos escravos, vem de uma história bem rica. E essa história não, não pode ser traduzida, não. The Roda de Capoeira expresses the history of black resistance in Brazil during and after slavery. Its heritage recognition defines the awareness of the value of African cultural heritage, which was once repressed and criminalized during a period of Brazilian history. Capoeira is a symbol of Afro-Brazilian culture and of ethnic miscegenation and resistance is a source of pride to its community and to all Brazilians. The Roda thus takes on the role of exporter of Brazilian culture. The dissemination of the Roda de Capoeira practice throughout the world is an example of the concrete possibility of respectful and harmonious coexistence between different ethnic groups, age groups and genders. It is a practice that promotes cultural diversity and combats racism and other forms of prejudice. Eu sou pela capoeira. Eu sou pelo berimbau. Eu sou pela capoeira. Eu sou pelo berimbau. Venha jogar capoeira, venha tocar berimbau. Cancho, macho, lá retardo, para essa roda fica bem legal. Tem aquele que é velho de idade, de cabeça branca e não tem tempo não. Vai com a roda de capoeira, quanto uma história e não joga mais não. E aquele que ainda é novo, é de arte e artista, só sabe saltar. Faz a sua exibição, joga sozinho e se acha o bom. Venha jogar capoeira, venha tocar berimbau. Cancho, macho, lá retardo, para essa roda ficar bem legal. 